It's time to meet some viewers of Equestrian Nation on RFD TV and go on an equine adventure. But I watch RFD TV. I'm a RFD TV person. Okay. I live by that channel. I don't watch any others. Ken and Annie from Colorado are also avid followers of Equestrian Nation and were curious about going to the Wyo horse sale they've seen advertised. We're talking with our vet here in Colorado and, and uh, it came a time where we needed to purchase some horses and he highly recommended the sale and the breeding program and so we went to our first sale um, in May of last year. So last May they set out for the spring Wyo quarter horse sale in Thermopolis, Wyoming. We were interested in a, uh, a young horse and uh, an aged horse. And uh, we saw a wide variety of horses. Uh, we were able to uh, see them online and uh, through their uh, catalog before we went down there. So we had an idea of some of the horses we were gonna look at. But they had a wide variety of quarter horses, uh, all different breedings uh, as far as uh, uh, sires and dams. Uh, but we were very impressed from ranch horses to uh, like I said, to two-year-olds and, and a lot of stuff in between. Being a, a former educator doctorate, I do lots of research. So I flagged all the gildings, then I put all the ages down, and then I just looked at the ones I thought I would be interested. So when we got here, we went to the preview and we started the process of elimination because I had them all selected, all the gildings. They have a, a guarantee in their in their bid program, which again gives you a sense of assurance that you're gonna get uh, that a sound horse and what is presented at the sale is uh, is what you're gonna get. And yeah, we did. Uh, we felt that uh, we were gonna get good, solid, sound horses and, and uh, based on what we knew from the breeding program, we were uh, pretty excited about what their minds were gonna be like too. With so many quality horses to choose from, it can be intimidating to make the right choice. The staff at the Wyo sale is very helpful. Well, it's really an awesome experience. And if you're kind of hesitant or never been to a horse sale, or you're not sure about what you're looking at and how to get around, just talk to people. They will help on the spot. There, there were so many choices that it was kind of hard to narrow down, but we had a pretty good list going in. Ken and Annie bought two horses. One was an aged gelding with a lot of experience, and the other was a young horse. So we bought a um, two-year-old uh, registered quarter horse. Um, his name is Wyo Shiny Pepper, and um, his nickname now is Ringo. And he um, is doing phenomenal. Um, he was started with the Bill Smith program, and um, we picked it up from there and just continued his training. Um, and put some good foundation on him and he's just very, um, uh, he's wanting to please and he's uh, extremely um, docile horse. He um, is not skittish or spooky whatsoever and um, it's really nice because we're developing a really nice partnership. As time went on, they couldn't believe how this young horse was so willing and quiet-minded. What happened next is something that Annie said she'd never do. We participated in a St. Patrick's Day parade here in a local town, and um, it, it, I've never been in a parade, and that horse has never been exposed to it. So he was exposed to goats and children and loud noises and cars and people, fire trucks, um, just, and he did amazing dogs, you know, bar barking dogs and, and dogs inside vehicles, you know, coming at him. And, and um, you know, I think it was exposure that I never had and he never had. And we worked our way through it. And it, it was a lot of fun. It was a good experience. The young horse Ringo handled the parade like an old pro. So I never imagined that I'd be riding a two-year-old in a parade ever. But... When I look back at the reasons why I did it, it's because I had faith and I had, um, I felt secure in the seat of that horse because it started years prior to this with the breeding programs with Bill Smith and Woody Bartlett. And the it's a legacy that's continued for years because of the pedigree of these horses, the way they're started, their handling, um, it, it just, brings it full circle. It's, it's, uh, it's really phenomenal how 
they know horses, they know how to breed horses, they know how to raise horses, they know how to start horses, and so that I could feel comfortable on a two-year-old in a parade, which is something that I, I never thought I would do because I would be too afraid. But I, I felt very confident in that horse and in their breeding program and in my selection of, of choosing um, the Wild Horse Ranch. A lifetime of dedication by Bill Smith and Woody Bartlett to offer beautiful, quality, quiet-minded horses at their Wyo Quarter Horse Sale. We have a young horse now that hopefully will take us through the rest of our life. Um, we, we're building a, a very strong bond and partnership with that horse. And, and let's face it, your life is riding on that horse. And so you want a horse that's dependable and reliable and that's willing to partner with you and have trust in you versus a horse that you don't really know the history or you really don't know the breeding or you really don't know the ranch it came from. And then you're trying to spend the rest of your life unwinding and undoing some bad habits and, and bad um, experiences that horse had. And, and it's harder to do that than to just do it right the first time. So if you're looking for a horse that's sure-footed, dependable, reliable, is willing to partner with you, um, has a sense of adventure and spirit and curiosity, um, and you want to move forward safely and have enjoy the time with your horse, then I would highly recommend going to the Wild Horse Ranch Sale because they know their horses and they know how to put you into a good, safe mount. They're just good, solid, good-minded horses, and I think you'll have good, good success with what you, uh, what you find up there at the Wild Ranch. Go on a horse adventure of your own at the Spring Wild Quarter Horse Sale in Thermopolis, Wyoming, Saturday, May 18th. We'll be back with more Equestrian Nation after this.